Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Heroes Hideout. I'm Sam, and I'll be playing a Squirrel Girl, and I'm joined with... It's me, Cody, playing as Captain America. You have such a fun flourish. Mine is like this little wave, or I can point and laugh. That's, that's kind of sad. Oh, <laughs> kind of <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Alright so guys, we've got an extra special episode for you today. We are going to do a special event, and I don't know what it is, but Cody does. So, oh when gosh, they introduced oh VIP status, they really also added an event to tie into Spider-Man Homecoming. So, we can go battle the Sinister Six and Vulture Ooh. through this event called the Daily Bugle. Alright, so let's do it. To head there. This is a pretty fun one. There's lots of bosses. Um, I've run through it a few times on different characters. Uh, once with Hugh and once by myself. And it's pretty cool. Nice. So we're going to talk to Ben Urich. Oh, was I not supposed to leave already? Oh, no, that's him right there. Got it, got it. Hello, hero. Alright. Now we got to go fuse these bombs. There's a there's a situation in here. You can tell by these cops, they look so serious. About time one of you costume freaks showed up. Whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness, they're gonna... I feel like they're gonna set off the bombs because we attacked. Is that not... Luckily, Here come all the squirrels. Luckily, guys aren't that smart. My goodness. Um, so, Cody, you say there's aggressive squirrels in New York City these days. Oh yes, uh, I saw a Twitter article that said there's <laughs> aggressive squirrels in uh, need a bigger gun. New York. I know nothing people. about that, I promise. Mm -hmm. Sure you do. Fuse this bomb. Oops. We'll defuse this bomb. Oh. Are there more? Should I go try to find one to defuse? I'll just beat up this uh, guy. Have one upstairs. Well, why didn't we get that one when we came in? We were already upstairs, I Cody. I didn't know it was upstairs. Just no need to yell at me. Hey, who's already played this event? at least twice and should know these things? But the bombs are always spawning in different sections. <laughs> if you so, say so. Do we go in here now? Or are we going the to the reason basement? this event yes, is good to do because not only does it give you a lot of experience because you're constantly fighting bosses because you're fighting the Sinister Six and then the Vulture, um, it also drops these little buffs. Um, they're, they're different newspaper articles oh about Spider-Man. Oh, nice. And they last for an hour. Those are good to store up on for the raid that comes out ah. in September. Um, so that would be pretty good. Um, is, do you think, is there anything like special that might happen in this event if you play as Spider-Man? Um, I don't believe so because I, well, I played as Spider-Gwen technically, but ah. nothing happened when I played with you. Okay. Uh, Ooh, bounty reward boss chest available. Oh, so this also counts as a operation, and what operations are are like shortened down versions of stories, and you can get a bounty chest, Ooh. and that'll just be a little chest at the end that has some gear and a lot of XP in it. Nice. Whoops. Who's this shocker? Okay. Do you have a favorite um, Spider-Man storyline? Um, I love Spider-Man Blue. And, um, maybe Weep Little Tears. Oh, I've never read that one. Sure it's very good. It's pretty much just him talking about uh, his love for Gwen Stacy. Oh, well, that's and all right. Whoops. That's one of my favorite relationships in comics. So, definitely got me really teary. Yeah. So we up here we can save. Alright, he's safe. Wait, right. wait, wait, where? What? Do I save? What? Right, there's a person we need to save. Oh, I thought, like, I was like, we don't stop and save during this game, it auto saves. I was really confused. I'm and then I thought sure maybe it was like a bank it. safe. I, I just really didn't understand. Oh. <laughs> We're so not on the same wavelength today, Cody. For some reason, my shield did not want to come back to me there. It was just like <laughs> bouncing around like crazy. 
Was there secretly a Spider-Man and he stole it from you? Possibly. I mean, you never know. You gotta keep an eye on that guy. Whoops. My goodness, I need some more spirit. No, not Good job. Uh, time might be better spent <laughs> in a lab, doctor. And we're gonna go over here and get. Oh, oh here's these spiders. Whoops. Well, that doesn't make any sense, Cap. He's like, I'm taking you down, madman, but these are robots. So. <laughs> it's a madman robot, you know. Robot rights. Oh my goodness, there's more of them. Gizmo sounds like he's having a oh wild, God. crazy time over there. He wants me to pick him up and put him in this chair. He likes to go sit by himself over there for a little while. Bobby. Sometimes you like to sit in the chair, you know? It's like every day is oh, look. It's yeah. Time Ooh, here we go. I feel like I've beaten up Green Goblin at least 20,000 times. <laughs> I feel point. like you're exaggerating you slightly. I don't know about it. Check out my toys. I mean, that's that like a twenty thousand is a pretty big number. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Whoops. All right. No. Trick or treat. Yeah, that'll be. Should be him. Dead. Got him. Yep. It's never over. So who are the traditional uh, Sinister Six? I know them as Doc Ock, Shocker, Rhino, the Lizard. Hold on, how many was that? Uh, Doc Ock, Shocker, Rhino, Lizard, that's four. Mysterio, freak. and. Who did we just fight? Oh, Green Goblin? Was he part of the original Sinister Six? Oh, I don't know if this is original, this is just who I know as No, um... yeah, that's cool. Um... Oh, I think? Green Goblin. Maybe it was Venom. Oh, Wait, did yeah. I say Rhino? You said Rhino. Was oh Bullseye gosh, one? Came, uh... No, because Bullseye's more of like a Daredevil villain. Okay. Sorry about the mess. Shocker. Doc Ock. Shocker, Doc Ock, Rhino, Mysterio, Vulture, I guess, is technically one of them. Oh, okay, yeah. Um. Oh, Craven, Craven 2. Like, oh, you know, they're kind okay. of rotating cast. Yeah. Oh, and Electro. Oh, gosh. oh yeah. <laughs> but I get, like, confused between Electro and Shocker. They seem like they're pretty similar, maybe. I don't know. Mm, there's a difference. One uses electricity and one uses... Shocking powers. Oh gosh, I can't do that. What exactly are shocking powers? Because I mean, sometimes I get shocked, but it's coming from electricity. Uh, he uses like I don't really know like how like I feel like the movie explaining Shocker's powers is the best way anybody has ever done. Because, I don't feel like, like it really explained it, it. He just had a little uh, a little gauntlet thing. Exactly, and like. That's I don't really know if the comic version is like like oh, that. Okay, like it's so like, like oh, so Electro had like built-in mutant type of electricity powers, and Shocker just had to use yeah. a device. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I wasted that. There we go. I can already see them beating up with all these squirrels around. I know, man. They're just crazy. Just give me to the cops already. Ooh, fire. I'm on fire. Oh dear. Okay. Here, okay. Whoops. Got a little crazy with my dash. Whoops. No more. I uh, see, so I just picked up a daily bugle, Spidey and the Rano, rob the bank. It's very ah. false. It's some fake news right there. Yeah, J. Jonah Jameson is a. Uh... Who's this? 
Two stones. Okay. Damn, that felt good. Whoops. Oh gosh, I can't do that. Whoa. Squirrels. Squirrels. I meant to tell you that uh, I was sitting there waiting for somebody to load while playing Angela earlier, and it told me about uh, Squirrel Girl's friend Tippy Toe. Yeah. She has a special place in her heart for. Um, you super villains, what was it? Bazooka Joe? Monkey Joe. Monkey Joe. Yeah. Why was his name Monkey Joe of all things? I have no idea. I had that question or, as well. Did you, did you just blow up those video game machines, Sam? I know. I'm so used to Overwatch where you always just blow up the video games in the loading screen. Reasonable. So. Alright, we're going to proceed to the rooftop. Alright. Let's go see what's up top. Come here, buddy. Oh, there's some lightning. I don't know if it's lightning or the, the, the lights side to turn on here. At your house? Uh, no, in it here, like, walked outside and it was dark and they got really burned out. Oh, I guess I'm not looking. Ooh, he looks pretty cool. Whoa. I like the, oh. uh, kind of movie. Whoa. Oh gosh, I can't do that. I like his grunts of pain. Whoops. Man, I love these Hulkbuster squirrels. They are pretty badass looking. Like, every time yeah. I see them, I'm like, that's pretty cool. I wish I had something yeah. like that as Cap. I know. You, Cap should have some type of animal companion. Even though he's not known for such things. Don't expect to see this in tomorrow's Daily Bugle. Alright, we can open this chest. Woohoo! Look at all that XP. All the XP. Nice. Nice. You'd think I could store that so that was original. the Daily Pugil event. Hold on, um, I need to. Uh, I, need I believe to get this is going to be in the game permanently from now on. Um. That's cool. I'll show real fast on my screen that newspaper I picked up. Is it in your inventory? So, yes. Um, so this is a one hour cooldown, and when I activate it, I gain plus one fighting and plus one durability for one hour. Um, and so these will be really useful for when the raids come out, because you want all the buffs you can to make yourself like stronger and all that, because obviously you're fighting raid bosses, which are different than normal bosses. Yeah. Nice. And you can use these on any of your characters, so they're just kind of helpful to pick up no matter what. Cool. And can you do this, can you do this event at any level, or do you have to be a certain level before you can get to you it? You have to... A level 11. Oh, okay, that's not it. bad. Yeah, and you can do it on any difficulty. Um, I did it on Cosmic, on uh, Jean Grey, I did it on Normal with you and Hugh, and I've done it on Super Heroic with Angela, so. Pretty fun. Nice. I liked it. Yeah. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this special episode of Heroes Hideout. We hope you enjoyed. Thanks, Sam. Thank you, Cody. And thank you guys for watching. And remember, pop those XP boosters. <laughs> Good advice. Bye. Bye. Wait one sec, Sam. Huh? Hail Hydra. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll cut your head off and I don't care what grows in its place. Oh. Oh, this, this got, that, this that got was dark. a harsh one. Go on over here. Go on over here. <laughs> Come here, what? I'm gonna get you. Where'd you go? Nope. Oh, no, he's no, no, no. too far. There you go. Oh, oh, he disappeared. I'm coming no. to get him. Where'd you go? Oh, wait. Where, where did you go, really? <laughs> I went to the headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to headquarters, too. You uh, can't hide from me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go make sure I don't get my head cut off. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Whoops. Bye, Sam. Bye, Cody. Oh, hold me. Zoom in. I'm real close to you. Put my tail in your face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. I'm not into furries. I'm just kidding. <laughs>